Hello. This video, we're going to look at an alternate solution to sum 67. Um, so, just a reminder of what this problem does is we want to find a sum of all the elements, ignoring everything from the first six we find to the next seven. So, in this case, we're going to add one, one, ignore six, ignore seven, and then add the two. So, what I'm going to do this is to kind of hijack your counter inside your loop. And what I mean by that is I'm going to put a while loop inside my for loop, and the minute I see a six, I'm going to I'm going to fire up the while loop to keep going until I find the seven to push the eye along. Let me show you what I mean by that. So we're going to make an issue called sum. We're going to set it to zero, and we're going to write a standard loop that's going to look at each element in the array nums. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say if nums at i is equivalent to six. So basically, if I reach a six, um, I'm going to set a while loop, and I'm going to say while nums at i is not equal to seven, and then I'm just going to essentially increment i by one every time. So what this does is it comes into my loop. And I'm going to look at this, look at this, and then when I reach the 6, I'm going to kind of move along until I reach the 7. Now what I haven't done yet is I haven't put the sum in there yet. So let's just come down to the bottom here and put the term sum to do that problem. And the question is, now where do I add my element? Well, um, what I can do here so I'm going to say sum is equal to sum plus nums at i. Now this is going to present a slight problem. If we run it, line 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is where my error is. Well, oh, forgot the s on nums. And, and we see that we're, we're almost there. But the problem is you'll notice consistently, I suppose we get 5, I get 11. Supposed to get 4, I get 10. Supposed to get 2, I get 14, which is 12 more. So notice how every time I'm getting a multiple of 6. <laughs> and that's because, because by putting my sum here, I'm going to look, I'm going to actually add the 6 every time, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to say if nums, I'm just going to put that inside a conditional statement. Nums at i is not equal to 6. Then I add it. And there we go. This is a nice little way to kind of work through this problem. Again, this isn't what this, this section of coding bats is looking at, because the idea is that all of these coding bats could be done um, with one loop. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.